Hello Leo, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this video is going to be for the Leo singles. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the first half of September 2019. I hope all is well with you guys Leo. Let's get into your reading. But as I shuffle, let's see. Mm, okay, here we go. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Leo singles sun moon rising and venus signs for the first half of september 2019 as i shuffle leo i want you guys to keep in mind that everything here is not going to apply to you or your situation the things here can go vice versa and check out the videos for your sun moon rising and venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it join me for my meet and greet september 21st rather than the 14th it has been shifted to september 21st in the beach cities of LA, so Santa Monica area, around there, um, as opposed to Santa Barbara. I've shifted everything. The RSVP is going to be on my website very soon. So for those of you who are interested, go ahead and RSVP on my website. Okay, give it a day or so, it should be up. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming in for my Leo singles. Okay, Leo, it looks to me that you are healing from something. Some of you could be sick. Some of you could have had um, an elder in your life pass away. Could be healing from some type of a grief, some type of grief, some type of completion in your life. Possibly with a Scorpio. Seeing some, there's a call. Someone here that you have to call, the call that's going to be significant to your life, or maybe there's a call to action by the universe. It looks like something here may be resolved in the autumn season for you. And I see that the summer season is also significant to you. So we're going to say Leo, um, Gemini, and Cancer. I hear Cancer very clearly. Um, and I see Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Virgo. I feel like you're looking back on the past. Maybe you're wishing things could be different. I see that you are on a break. Maybe you're going on vacation because I see that you are traveling, possibly moving. I see a change of scenery for you guys. Okay. Yeah, you're looking for fresh new opportunities. Uh, maybe you're looking for a new place to move. Okay, this is an ideal time for you guys to move if you were thinking of moving. I do, do see limiting beliefs um, that could be keeping you running in place. I almost heard, um, I said, I heard Capricorn. Okay, Leo, you might be running a place thing. Your, your limiting beliefs are holding you back. And Spirit is saying you never know what you're capable of unless you try. And don't be afraid. Um, it's better to fail than to not try at all. So Spirit is saying try it. Put it out there on the line. Some of you are connecting with your spirit guides. Maybe possibly some of you do some type of spiritual work. Um your dreams they may be communicating to you through your dreams um, I'm saying focus on your dreams right now there's a big dream that you have and I'm saying that your heartfelt desires are starting to manifest for you or they may begin to come full bloom in the autumn season which is coming up I see someone coming into your life Leo could be a return of someone this could be someone brand new but I'm seeing someone who is not afraid to speak his or her mind very independent goal oriented and likes to feel like they're in control loves the outdoors I see prosperity coming in for you but I do see slow and steady so this could be your money flow coming in slowly and steadily or are you changing directions with your career or something here is going to change direction and I see a slow and steady pace it's um, I'm saying don't make any decisions in haste, Leo. Think things through. Be patient. I'm saying that your perseverance is going to pay off. I feel that there is an opportunity in a new direction that's coming in for you. The Spirit is saying don't be afraid to go down that path. Use your intuition. Allow that be, to be your guide and trust your feelings. Some of you may get some type of invitation to travel. I do see communication coming in from a distance. Now some of you could be in a long, could have been in a long distance relationship or there's just some type of distance between the two of you I, um, emotional or physical I do see where the light is going to be shed on something that maybe you feel confused about 
and something here is going to come to a resolution. There was a third party, okay? And I do feel that things feel like they're sinking, like they're out of control. And I do feel that the third party could be that you found out this, that the one that you love is actually partnered with someone. And someone's masquerading as though they're happy. Um, I don't know. Someone's masquerading. Someone's not being truthful and honest about what it is that they're representing. I see you mastering something with your career, possibly in the winter time, um, maybe even the spring. So yeah. Let's see. What is going on for the? Why am I so tempted to call you guys Capricorn? For the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. What's up for Leo? What happened, Leo? What's going on in your life? Are you worried about something? Because I'm seeing you asking for some type of spiritual guidance. Maybe that's why you're talking to your elders. Okay, it looks like you're worried about something. You're asking for advice. You're isolating yourself. You're feeling impatient about success, but I'm sensing success and forgiveness are coming around the corner. Now, if there's not someone that you're forgiving, then I feel like you're forgiving yourself. And there's going to be a time for you to speak up for yourself, Leo. So it's only up, it's, it's for you to figure out when to speak up, right? Because like the, 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 the scripture says, there's a time to speak and there's a time to be quiet. Okay, so you're having to decipher which one it is. Reconsider. Maybe there was something that you walked away from in the past because you were feeling afraid. Maybe you were feeling that, that it wasn't the right time. That it wasn't the right time. Yeah. You're in a rush. You're feeling impatient about something. Spirit says, wait, there's a reason for it. There's a reason that you might have to reconsider a door that you closed. Okay? Because you might have to get some guidance about something. Mm-hmm reconsidering something because now you're saying yes to something trust yourself to make the right decisions for yourself and it looks like within the next few months keep in mind this is a general reading but within the next few months there's something here where you will be faced at a crossroads about what is it though <laughs> that's what we're trying to get into yeah for some of you, it's about love, and for some of you, it may be about your relationship with your children. Okay, are you separated from your children, estranged from your children at this time? Okay, maybe the two of you may need to talk about some things, okay? You could be separated from the one that you love, and now you're trying to release them. You release them. You said it's time for us to se separate, but I feel like we were talking about forgiveness just a moment ago. There's going to be a, con a decision that you will be reconsidering and you'll be sitting down and having a talk with someone potentially to figure out if it's safe for you to love. This is something that may take place very soon. All right. So who's unrequited love is what I just saw. So something didn't work out between you and this person in the past. But let's see why. Like what happened? What happened? Feeling stuck. You stop talking to someone. Someone's all in their phone, though. Obsessing about something. Someone's afraid to approach you. Someone's afraid to come back. Someone walked away in the past. I feel like there's an issue coming back to the surface to be revisited. Center is the overall energy for your reading. Someone here wanted to be the center of attention. The, or this was someone that was the center of your life. Like the nucleus of your life. What's blocking the situation is release. Someone's having a very difficult time releasing something or someone, possibly an ex. There could be an age difference between the two of you guys. There's definitely some gossip that separated you guys. And I'm seeing someone here who likes a lot of attention. Someone here that wants the glory for everything. And so I feel like you were thinking about the future. I think you're wondering what the future holds between you and this person. 
that you're isolated from. Maybe your thoughts are getting the best of you, Leo. You're feeling a bit impatient. Maybe you feel like you're running out of time. What are you running out of time about? Let's see what this is about. Oh, I see somebody cheating on a partner. So there was definitely a third party. Some of you are rushing in haste to see someone. Is it your mother? I see a baby. Maybe there's a baby that, that's born early here. Someone feels like they're speeding out of control. Are you taking a road trip? Someone's moving faster than they should. And I see someone is falling. A relationship is out of control. You worry about how you appear. Okay, some of you could definitely be picking out clothes to go to an event. Okay, some of you are wanting to go back to school. There's someone here where you had a lot, a lot of ups and downs with this person in the past. This person was very generous to you, very, very loyal, very giving. But this person will cut you off in a heartbeat if they sense that you're lying about something. Or if you break their heart. This could be a Libra or Gemini. So, okay, so Leo, maybe you sense that something here wasn't moving forward. Maybe you said, you know what, there's not really a future with this situation. So I don't think I want to deal with this any longer. I think I'm going to isolate myself and pull away. Maybe you're second-guessing yourself at this time, Leo. Maybe you're saying, you know what, maybe I was hasty. Maybe I was a bit impatient um, with that situation. So I'm saying gentleness. So I'm feeling that this person could have been very gentle, very nurturing, or maybe this is what you're now wanting to bring to the table. I do sense haste. haste. And I feel like someone here wants the truth about something. This is pretty interesting. What's going on here, though? Leo. Snap judgment. Someone came to their own conclusion about something. But I see that the other person is hurting. There's a change in direction possibly with this relationship with this person that we're talking about. Could it be your mother? Okay. Yeah, for some of you it is your mom. For some of you you're worried about a loss of a home. There could be some type of financial loss financial freedom. Some of you, your kids may want to leave the house. Maybe you told your kid to leave. <clears throat> maybe you feel like your partner is a man-child or immature. And maybe that's their immature actions resulted in you saying, I'm done here. I feel like someone is, is intimidated or afraid to come and talk to you about something. And I feel like there's going to be a confession about something here that was done wrong. Now, for some of you, someone was stealing, and I feel like they're going to get caught red-handed. Because I'm seeing um, court, court issues. Someone has to face the music. Fess up to something that they've done. Something that they've done. Something. Someone's karma is coming to them very quickly. And... Um, Someone is saying things aren't moving forward. This isn't going to work out. I don't see a future here. Or someone is saying, I don't choose you. I choose to be with someone else, and that's my final decision. I feel like someone walked out on you, Leo. You could have been divorced from this person. You could have something separated. You separate the ties possibly with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. But I feel like you're gonna, the truth is going to be revealed about something. Somebody fell from grace. Somebody that you put up on a pedestal fell. Why? Someone's deception and lies. Oh, yes, yeah, someone was targeting you. Is this at your job? Leo? Oh, yes, yeah, some type of injustice. Some type of funny business because someone is jealous. Oh, I'm hearing slander. I got this for Capricorn. Okay, someone is jealous of someone for their, their spiritual gift, possibly. Maybe you saw this coming. For some of you, this is your job. Some of you are very bored doing what it is that you're doing, but we're going to get into your job for a, in a moment. You're worried about money. You're grieving something that some... <sighs> Leo, does somebody pass away? Maybe that's why. That's what I'm saying. Is that why you're speeding out of control? I got this for Taurus also. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. 
someone is driving too fast, haste, feeling like they are going to miss something, that they're too late for something. I see someone speeding out of control. The spirit is saying, slow down, go at a slower pace. Okay, so I do feel like the, the two of you could potentially be a power couple. I feel like the two of you, you and this person, Leo, you communicated on a lot of different levels. You matched one another's energy. You were evenly yoked at one point in this relationship. This could even be a business partner that you were um, communicating, that you were dealing with. Okay, some of you could be in the same line of work. Okay, I feel that one of you took on more responsibility than the other one. Or someone here is just saying, I don't want to take on responsibility or I want to take credit for your work, for your hard work because I feel that someone here is jealous. Yeah, this might be work. Okay, see a fire sign? This could be you, Leo, or Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, I see soulmate energy. You block this person. Vulnerability. What is this? Life. I'm hearing someone is in survival mode. They show me a shark swimming around. A predator. But a shark swims. They have to keep moving and keep swimming for survival. Maybe that's how you're feeling. That you have to stay afloat somehow. I feel like this is so career related. I feel like I see someone who here is very dedicated and very loyal. Possibly a Sagittarius. I see a Sag in the picture. And I see that someone here wasn't acting single. I mean they they weren't they were not single but were acting as though they were single. The truth was found out. There was a confrontation for the truth and someone ghosted the other one because they figured that things weren't going to move forward. There's no future here between you and I, right? And I see that there's a confession here, possibly from an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, yeah, I feel like someone here was very generous and very dedicated with their work. But I'm also feeling like there's, there's still some fire between the two of you. Like there's still a lot of passion here that you have. Someone has a tattoo on each of their fingers on your hand you might have like some type of, type of a henna tattoo someone has a tattoo on their hand they may have your name tattooed across their fingers I see a Gemini oh and I do see someone is watching the other one watching like a hawk mm -hmm. targeting someone watching someone's every move I feel like this is so much has a lot to do with work some of you this third party could have taken place at work okay I see snakes in the grass, people here that are gossiping, and I feel like ultimately things, the two of you guys separated because there was just too much mess and too much drama and too many games being played, and you sensed it, alright, your instinct was definitely high here, you picked up on something that was being hidden from you. But something came to the light. You were aware of it. You became aware of what was really going on. That there was someone here je targeting you because they're jealous and because they have their own insecurity. Someone here is going to lose in court. But I feel like, Leo, you're going to be the one winning out because I see money coming in for you. I do see a moment, a, a period of time where there's some confusion, where you're wanting to isolate yourself. You might be impatient to speak out. Right, and assert yourself, like I was saying, and some of you could definitely be looking, truthfully be looking from advice from your elders about how to go about resolving a situation or to get some someone off your back. Okay, because whatever this is, you're definitely feeling hurt and alone and misunderstood. Some of you are into real estate. We're, we're going to look at work in a minute, though. But, yeah, I see real estate ups and downs in a business that you're in. You're obsessing over money. Feeling sad. Someone here is trying to, to block you. They can't block you. What well, God is blessed. Oh, what is that? I forgot how that, that says. But yeah, I'm seeing things coming in for you. I, I do see releasing something. Someone's having a difficult time releasing the past, releasing some type of negativity, releasing some type of spell that someone is under here. Let's take a look at the energy of your cross watcher and then we'll, let's look at work real quick. What's really going on at work? 
okay because I saw some shady dramatic unnecessary <laughs> trauma okay you're really worried about something something's plaguing you yeah someone's trying to get you entangled in their BS like something's I see a vulture Hmm. Your spirit guides are definitely trying to speak out to you, saying don't fall for the BS. Uh, I do see a separation. See, some of you are moving or you're worried about having to move. You're waiting for a harvest. You're waiting for money to come in. I do see a time of harvest for you. But right now, you might be feeling lost. Why are you feeling lost with regard to your career? Okay, let's take a look at what's really going on, Leo, with your career. Look at that. As soon as I part the deck, Seven of Swords. Shady business, funny business at your job with the devil card here. Yes. And this is something from the past. It's like somebody can't let something go. They're harboring something, holding on to something release it's like one of you doesn't feel that the other one is aware of what's really going on or someone feels like they're fooling someone else the, their audience someone here could this could be something that's going on at school you're concerned about numbers yes some of you are in business for yourself a lot of ups and downs um i feel like you put in a lot of work and energy energy into your work you don't feel that things are in balance I feel like the work that you give out isn't what it worth what it is that you get in return someone here wants to be the center of attention mm. a dog following someone else it's like to lift the bowl water Maybe you depended on this person that were like the air that you breathe. That's pretty intense for work situation. But yeah, like I said, some of you could be involved with someone that you work with. Someone that could be very possessive. Um, definitely a liar. Someone that you stopped speaking to. You walked away from the situation. Either you're walking away from your work or you're walking away from the situation. Okay, because this person is hot and cold. You don't know who they really are. It's just at this point, you don't trust them. Someone doesn't have the strength to come toward you, possibly in uh, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So yeah, I do see you leaving. Someone left. Yeah, some of you work with your partner, your significant other, because I'm saying someone left the other one to become a single parent. Something here caused someone to become over, overly emotional. They left you for someone else. And now you're feeling confused, right? Because you gave and gave and you were loyal in this relationship and you didn't get in return what you felt that you ought to receive. So you left the situation because you chalked it up to the, the fact that this person is just selfish. They're in this for themselves, not for the benefit of the two of you. But I don't feel that this was an easy situation for you to have walked away from, Leah. Leo, okay, some of you could be dealing with someone by the name of Leah. Leo, you didn't want this relationship to end possibly with a Sagittarius. But someone keeps dwelling on the past, something here that should have ended already. Um, I see someone is pregnant in this situation. I see a Virgo. And I see a Scorpio. Okay, someone is ending, ending an argument, ending a beef here. Someone is stable. Someone is jealous of someone else's stability. I feel like the truth is going to come in. The truth is going to be revealed about something. Yeah, you are worried about money. You're worried about stability. You're worried about work. But I still don't quite understand. Let's see. I feel like someone's trying to pull you into their drama. Somebody's playing head games. All right. They feel like they're going to get a reward. Okay, some of you are... Some of you are going to start over, start fresh, start new. You're going to walk away and start something fresh. Someone's trying to take your opportunity, take away your shine, take away, steal your joy. That's the vulture. Someone's trying to steal your relationship. There is some anxiety that you're having possibly about money and stability, something about home. Yeah, see that? I do see gossip. Absolutely. 
like I was talking about telephone for some of you there's a family business that you work with someone here comes from a family of prestige where they want to appear as though they're different than they really are I feel like a boss is going to get fired. Someone's trying to block your dis your success. I feel that there is a decision here that you're faced with, whether to leave or to start fresh and to go away from the situation. I do feel like you have the ability to triumph over this situation. But I'm saying someone has is apologetic, and you're maybe reevaluating a decision. I do see that change is coming in, change of direction. And I feel that you're going to take a leap of faith to go towards something and let go of whatever this disappointment was. But yes, you're feeling impatient. You're not feeling, like I said, you feel overlooked, possibly in your career field. But it looks like, yes, and you put in a lot of work and sacrifice. But I see someone who's possessive. Someone here with a bad attitude. Some of you are fearing the worst with regard to your financial situation with leaving something behind because it looks to be that people are making your are, are attempting to make your job so um, difficult that you leave. And I see someone's a puppet here. Like they they want to control you. I'm telling you. It's like somebody has somebody under a spell. Someone's gonna be found out. Someone's gonna something's going to be revealed. I see the messenger. Okay, there's a messenger. Someone wants to bring a message possibly to a Capricorn. Someone from a distance. I see an analyst and I see that you're not fulfilled. You're gonna analyze the situation. Somebody has bad habits. Okay, I don't know. This is this is a lot. But it looks to me like the gist of it is that you own a business and maybe you're worried that your finances are off balance right here okay you put in a lot of sacrifice a lot of passion in your career but right now you're feeling like either you're feeling uninspired or you're feeling passionless about your career right now and maybe now you are reevaluating what it is that, what moves you want to make with your career Okay, maybe there's a measure of sorrow because someone, like I said, is a manipulator here. So they could be coming to you to apologize. I see a celebration. Some of you could go to be going to some type of social gathering with regard to work. But what is this crisis about? Are you worried that someone's passing away? What is this crisis? Please clarify. No closure, blocking something. I see negativity. Is someone's health? Is someone in bad health? Someone's fighting for their health? Someone blocked the other person and there's no closure to the situation. Someone moved. Okay, there's definitely change. Some of you are moving for your job, moving locations for your job. You, you want to move away from something or someone, but you feel stuck. Possibly because, like I said, there's a third party on the job. You're not sure if you should move or you should stay or you should go. Someone is dating a boss. I got this for Capricorn also. Your boss could be very controlling, very possessive. Wow. You've been very patient. You've been trying to hang in there. But your attitude is starting to change. And it's like your morale is down. You're feeling very disappointed by some, some, something or someone you trusted. They misrepresented themselves as someone that you could trust. But they were an imposter all along. I do feel that there's a message coming to you. Okay. Someone is in ill health. Someone may have passed away. Okay. I don't know. This could mean a lot of different things. I'm not quite sure what this is, but I do feel that there's been some financial loss. Some of you were waiting for a loan to come through and it didn't. I feel like you will be exploring your options. But I feel like you are going to take flight. You're going to leave a situation. See, someone is jealous of your status. I see someone venomous. Someone's after money. Clout. 
going to spread your wings and move. Either you're moving past the situation or you're 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 literally leaving the situation, but you're not sure whether or not you should if this is the right time to do something. It looks like you have some type of dream that you want to pursue. And I do see you being successful at, at it. Some of you could be going into the law law. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at Cross Watcher. What's going on with the Cross Watcher? All right, Holy Spirit, show me what's going on with the Cross Watcher for Leo. You're waiting. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to say something. Okay. They're waiting for you to tell them that you still love them. I see romantic feelings here. Mm -hmm. They may want some answers and some closure about why you left. Why, why did you retreat? Was there someone else? They're trying to stay optimistic, but the fact that you were attracted to someone else is something that's off-putting to them, so they're deciding to love themselves first. There was some type of temptation that took place on the job. Temptation with what, though? Okay, To date, some, to be in a third party. Okay, because I'm saying someone was intimate with someone else. Possibly, yes, a boss. It's like someone is obsessing over something because someone wants the truth. Someone has changed. They're acting differently because they know that you know their secret, that they're dealing with three people. That they're married, they're coupled with someone, they're already, they weren't single. So you feel like this was a complete waste of time to put your heart on the line for someone who wasn't all in. And it looks to me like the one that you love could be focused on someone else, possibly a Virgo. Or a Capricorn. Or a Taurus. Oh yeah. Somebody wants to know the truth. Are you married? Are you with someone? Do you have a baby with someone else? Is the question. And now this person is doubting that the two of you can really reconcile at all. If there's a child in the picture. But there's something here about the past that's holding the two of you back. Yeah, somebody left... A family behind, abandon a family, abandon their kids. No closure. Whatever you found out about it, it, it made you feel overly emotional. Uh, maybe you were going out to drink and socialize a bit too much. Some of you could be celebrating some type of achievement with your job. Or going on vacation, celebrating something with friends, saying cheers with your friends because there's a new start coming in, okay? Or you are reuniting with someone, and that's the two of you celebrating maybe by going out on vacation. Oh, yeah, I see you very hard at work, Leo. Crosswatcher, you're very dedicated with something. But, yeah, you are feeling like you're overlooked. Maybe you felt overlooked, overlooked in your relationship. Maybe you feel over, overlooked at the job. Right, because it looks like you are steady and dedicated with what it is that you do. And I definitely see steady progress coming in for you. And I feel like you're at the top of your, the pinnacle of your career. And there could be the people that are jealous and trying to stir up conflict. Because they don't like, they're intimidated by what it is that you bring to the table. I feel that there was a separation here. Your partner could even be intimidated by your status. But I'm seeing that your partner didn't want this separation but they felt that they couldn't be happy in the situation the way that, they, that it was because there was someone on the outside of your relationship and they wanted to know the truth because they feel that they were coming up empty they were giving you being very generous being very loving with you but when it came time to get in return they weren't getting they weren't receiving that and so yes someone deems this situation as a betrayal they feel that you dealt with them unfairly and that you were very defensive about something when you called when they called you on your BS and that that's why you left. Some of you have lost a home. Some of you could be going through a divorce 
and you're worried about losing everything. What is this about? See that? I do feel that there's some type of predator trying to keep you stuck. It's like someone definitely views you as a threat to the industry that you work in or in your relationship. So they want to get you out so they can come in and take your place and sit on your throne in this relationship or one where there was once a throne. See that? That's what I mean. Funny business. Funny business. You feel like someone misrepresented who they really are and that this was a complete waste of time. And I see you moving forward, but at the same time having mixed emotions about what to do or where to go from here. You're saying, I want to work on it, but I feel that there's no future here. It's a waste of time. So I feel like you're going back and forth in your emotions trying to figure out what decision to make. But I feel like mostly you're saying it's time for me to move forward. It's time for me to get past this and possibly start over and start fresh. But first, I want to communicate and find out the truth about what was really going on behind my back. That type of thing. Yeah, I feel that Leo's are going to start fresh. Some of you may be starting fresh with this person. And others of you, you're leaving this entirely alone and waiting for something new. Because you're doubting that the two of you can really get past all of these issues that you've gone through. They think that the situation has just gotten too out of control. Let's take a look at... Uh, let's do a quick spread for those who are completely single and not coupled with anyone. You don't have someone from your past coming back. Right? Let's see what this is about. I don't know. You're blocked from somebody, though. Maybe you're blocking out distractions. See, maybe you're feeling a bit impatient about love and a bit reluctant to open your heart, Leo. Because maybe you've, you, you've witnessed people in your life that have gone through a lot of difficulty in relationships. And you feel that there's a lot of imposters out there. People that act like they want to be committed in a relationship. But truthfully, when, because I'm hearing when you put your money where your mouth is, whatever. Or when it's time to walk the, walk the walk, it's like they, they can't. They, they, they stumble. They're not who they say that they are. Oh, some of you are going into being some type of spiritual leader, spiritual teacher. You are happy. Yeah, right now you're saying I'm happy with my career. I'm going to build my career first. Career first is what I'm seeing. School first, that type of thing. Because maybe right now you're feeling that being in a relationship is a waste of time. Mm, but at the same time, I feel that you do want to be with somebody. But you're being, why? It's like sometimes you're saying I'm impatient with love. Like I, I want love in my life. But at the same time, I don't want to be hasty. I want to focus on my career, focus on my studies. Because you're saying I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to open up emotionally. It's just to be disappointed. Okay, you do see shady people around you. Some of you still are holding some type, harboring some type of resentment toward your mother. Yeah, I'm just seeing you being bold and confident and going toward your dreams and not letting things hold you back. Just really focused on your own well-being. You're, you're making yourself the center of your life right now. Yeah. Because I'm hearing hurry up and stop. You know, like somebody is... Have you ever seen somebody driving fast very quickly to go to a stop sign or to go to a red light? It's like, what, what's the point? That's you. They're saying, what's the point in giving myself to someone only to be hurt? Excuse me. You do have love on the brain, though. But your thoughts are going a mile a minute. So you're saying, I need to be strong and um, focus on me. Yeah. I feel like you're building yourself right now, Leo. Yeah. So, on to the advice. So, Leo, I want you guys to keep in mind, even the advice is general. It's up to you to gauge what is right for you. Peace. Some of you are single parents. It says there's no need to worry, as everything is working out beautifully. Some of you um, may be dealing with someone by the name of Irene or Mary. I see that you do have a bright future ahead of you, 
everything is going to be fine. Leo Spirit is saying, don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. Okay? Your independence is what's going to make you shine. This is what's going to make you stand out above the rest. Uh, and I do see that setting boundaries does bring in prosperity for you. So confirmation of that. Love yourself enough to say no while there's demands on your time and energy. And the universe is pouring out, is pouring out its abundance to you. Be open to receiving. So that is what I see for you, Leos. If you would like to book a personal reading, keep in mind, um, you can go to my website, half price on a 30 or 60 minute live phone reading session. And my meet and greet, I'd love to meet you guys, September 21st, the beach cities of LA, um, in that area, in California. And um, RSVP on my website. That's something that should be coming up soon. All right. Leo, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. I'll talk to you in another video. Until then, take good care of yourselves, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.